I see. Um, how much did you, how hard was it for you to be back in the States and not able to be with this team and watching them play and, and maybe struggle a little bit? That had to have been a pretty difficult week for you. It was really hard, especially because, um, you know, I feel like I've been tested so much being overseas and I feel like I wish I could have, you know, been out there and to be so close, but to not be able to play with the team is really hard. Um, and especially, you know, the last game, I thought we played so, so well for most of the game. And then at the end, it kind of just slipped away from us. So um, it is tough not being able to play with them, but today felt great being back on the court and um, being around them more. Hey, Fee, what's the acclimation process like, especially with, you know, some newer players on this team? Do you still feel like you can kind of hit the ground running with them? Uh, yeah, and I think, you know, I'm coming late, too, so they've had some time to kind of be together more than I've had to be with them. But, um, you know, I think we had a really great practice today. You know, everyone worked really hard, and we got to work on a lot of things. And um, you saw a big progression, I think, from the New York game to the Seattle game. So we're just trying to build upon that and make sure that we're getting better every day in this uh, week-long break. Pierre, go ahead. Hey, have you had a chance to watch the games, at least? And if you have, what has kind of stood out to you from, from watching your team? And, and what do you think, you know, needs to be done for you guys to kind of dig yourselves out in an 0-3 hole? Um, I have been able to watch the games. You know, the New York game was obviously really hard to watch. We did not play well on offense or defense. Um, and the Seattle game, I thought we played, like I said, so well for like 35 minutes. And then um, for whatever reason, we just kind of died at the end. So we have to be able to finish the game strong. Um, you know, every team here is really good. You see really good players getting cut every day. So the levels of play is really hard and we have to be able to go um, at high levels for 40 minutes if we're gonna wanna beat people. We'll go Cody and then Sloan. Cody, go ahead. Cheryl says you're the type of player, doesn't skip a beat. Um, you mesh instantly with players and you're gonna make Kayla and Ariel better already. Um, what is your first impression practicing? Um, you know, it's really cool. They're obviously two really good players. And like I said, I think we got to work on a lot of good stuff today. So it was cool to kind of see them in action and practice rather just in games because both of them, I've only seen them in games when we were playing against them and now for these couple of games here. Uh, so like I said, it was cool to see them in practice and kind of be able to play with them and get used to their uh, style of play and things like that. Just to follow up on that, uh, last year, you played the majority of the season without Syl. So what's it like sharing the court with her again? Awesome, I love playing with Mama Syl. She makes everything so much easier. Um, she is great on offense and defense. So. Um, like I said, when she's on the court, it, make th it makes things a lot easier. So it feels good to be um, back out there with her. Sloan, go ahead. Hey, Fee, uh, something Cheryl said to us was that she kind of expected like no transition for you to be able to integrate yourself with new players, kind of like uh, Cody was asking. But I was wondering about what is your feeling out process with new teammates? Is it just kind of like five on five on the floor? Are you observing? Are you talking to them? I mean, how are you trying to kind of make that jump or does having kind of this week long uh, time between game really help that process, too? It does help that I've been able to see them play and I've played against them for the past, you know, three years. So you kind of know their style a little bit, but it's always different when you're on the court with them. So really just trying to watch them to see what habits they have, uh, telling them what I like when I'm on the court. Um, communication is really important. So um, trying to cut down that learning curve as fast as you can, because we're already in season. So I'm trying to learn from them as fast as I can. I'm trying to teach them about me as fast as I can. Any other questions for Fee? Uh, I had one more. Um, you were having played in Europe, like coach said, you're here in, in game shape. So that's not an issue, but w were you able to, I mean, work on any particular aspects of your game? Are we going to see anything different from the Nafisa Collier we saw at the end of the season last year? Um, so some things I try to work on were uh, better at three, you know, shooting them quicker um, and, you know, moving a little bit more and then change of direction is also something that I try to work on. So try to implement that into the season as well. All righty, that'll do it for today, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.